to tie a cherry stem in a knot with your tongue. Tying a cherry stem into a knot using only your teeth and tongue is a fun skill to have, and it's actually quite easy. You will need a cherry stem, a tongue, and at least a few teeth. Optional, extra stems in case you break your first one. Step one, demonstrate to your audience that the cherry stem is not already in a knot before placing it in your mouth. A maraschino cherry works better than a fresh one because its stem has been soaked in liquid, making it easier to manipulate. Step two, soften the cherry stem with your saliva for a few seconds. You may want to bend the stem a few times or gently chew it to further soften it before attempting to knot it. Step three, push down on the middle of the stem with the tip of your tongue so that it bends upward into a U. Step four, using the back of your front teeth as a stabilizer, cross one end of the stem over the other, forming an X. Step five, hold one end of the X in place with your teeth while pushing the loop upwards with your tongue towards the free end of the X. Step six, push the free end of the X through the loop using the bottom edge of your available front tooth. Step seven, once the tip of the stem is through the loop, release the other end of the stem from your teeth. Step eight, now position the stem so that the loop is flat against your four front teeth and the tip that is through the loop is pointing out. Step nine, push the end of the stem further through the loop until you can't push anymore. If you can't get the knot very tight, use a little sleight of hand as you remove it from your mouth, holding one end with your teeth as you pull on the other end. Step 10, voila, you're done. Now put the knot in the palm of your hand and show it off. Did you know, after actress Cheryl Lynn Fenn pretended to tie a cherry stem with her tongue on the TV show Twin Peaks, co-star Machen Amick showed the cast and crew that she could actually do it.